you knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. Just a girl. We didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. It. Neither do I. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... What do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Say it's been here an hour, maybe. No signs that it's been here long. Fabric looks like jeans, doesn't tell me much. some loose trash. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough.
What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Big B. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? The victim. She could be a symbol for something. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that, and I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds reasonable, but I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Are you blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Big B. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Bluebeard was mentioned. Don't be absurd. Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak. So don't even think about accusing him of such a treacherous affair. The guy has a history of beheading young women. I'd say that's something worth checking out. If all you're operating off of is ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. By that rationale, you're a suspect as well, Wolf. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. But where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well... I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't gonna say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, 
Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Mm, not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here, somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps. After the genie's been freed. Yes, that's right. Worth a try. Yes, I mean, I put. Mm -hmm. I have the record right here. Well, that's not what I have here. I can look through it again and get back to you. Mm hmm Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then? Or what he did to get them. I'll be sure to let him know. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history of rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. 
No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. <laughs>